Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back here to my channel where I play Plansu. My name is Nisa and today we're gonna take a look at the Persian Leopard here in Planet Zoo, which is a mod brought to us by Havok, Gaboy and Mig Gaming Rex, which again is three very good modders, so I am very much intrigued. I will just mention that I checked and it is an older mod, older than the conservation pack and therefore it's not made on the rack on the Emerald Leopard. I do though assume that it's then made on the uh, Jaguar uh, rig, which again, Leopards and Jaguar from appearances are very similar. Um, so I don't think that would be the weirdest thing to do, but it does just seems a little bit different, uh, both than the Leopard, uh, sorry, Jaguar, but also than the Emerald Leopard that we have from Frontier. As you see here, it is a beautiful filler. Uh, one thing I actually think it's fun is that uh, everyone that knows about Leopard Spots are very particular that they have these darker spots that only a tiny bit darker than the rest of the fur and then they have this black or dark brown spots around that spot but look at the fr front of this uh, it still have it on the bum but when you look at the front and in the face it is more like normal uh, spots that could be on a dalmatian or something like that uh, which i maybe have seen before but i haven't noticed before so that's just a little thing i would like to mention and then we have this big bushy tail which i also assume we should have so let's get into the game and i decided both to compare with the jaguar and the more leopard um but not the clouded and the snow because they are more different so we put down the more leopard here and the jaguar oh jaguar over here and then we're gonna dump down the persian leopard in the middle and keep in mind it is all males to make it as fair as possible so let's see here the first thing I notice is this size. It's big and not only in height, it is higher than the others, but also look at this fat on it. It looks fatter, it, lo it looks more chunky, uh, which if you have seen my cats, you know I lo love a chunky fellow. <laughs> um, and besides that, we have this very particular color. Uh, which also it's more difficult to see from this angle uh, but it is a very pale almost a pale lion color actually um, where the two other here the Amol leopard is more like an orangey brownish warm toned yellowish color and the jaguar here is more like a muted brown color so that's a big difference but going into the spots here we have these very leopard spots as we said before and then we have these smaller spots up here which also appear to be a thing here besides the fact that it's more rings here and not dark spots on the dark spot uh, and here it's very much the same face wise there is a bit of differences here we have the jaguar again here it is very lion like i would say a uh, shape in the face uh, very slim but with a big snout uh, where here you can see it's don't really have it's more just a little round teddy bear face with a shorter and a thinner snout area so they are actually a big difference. Uh, I do feel like though the male is bigger than the female. We can just move her here over here. I think I saw that she was smaller. 
We see here on the stomach, the male s seems to have more uh, chunkiness to it than the female. She also has some compared to the other two, um, but compared to the male here, she's, she appears more slim. Um, and it actually also seems like there's a bit of differences in the face also. But uh, let's start the time and let's jump into Supedia. It is an endangered animal and there are about 1300 left in the wild, so not that much. Whoa! <laughs> I'm not the only one seeing this, well... We're gonna jump back into Zoopedia. Um It's from Asia, Iran, Afghanistan, to Turkmenistan, Armenia, Azerbaijan, Russia, Georgia, and Turkey. But not Persia. Is Persia a country? I think it's a country. I'm so sorry for everyone living there that I don't know. I'm I'm sorry, I'm not that good with geography. Um they live in desert grassland and timid pine and one of them needs six hundred and sixty eight square meters of land. Nothing else but they do both swim and uh climb and they, I do feel like they climb more than the lions, but they are kind of at the same level as tigers. Uh, they live from 8 to 42 degrees Celsius and you need a grade 3 climb proof fence uh, at least uh, 3 meters that's 9.9 .9 feet uh, one male one female or one of each no dominance they are promiscuous they are shy and guests should not enter the habitat the male grows to 70 centimeters at the shoulder and the female uh, 55 that's about two and a half feet and there's two inches in difference um, they live for around 23 years and the mill grows to 90 kilos which is 180 pounds and the females 45 kilos which is 90 pounds uh, so the female is clearly much, much smaller than the male. Uh, they reach sexual maturity at age 3 and they will give uh, reproduce until they die. They get between 1 and 4 offspring every second year and they are pregnant for 3 months. They should be around average to get to reproduce in captivity and jumping over here, not there, but there. They have no interspecies enrichment and they don't actually have that much uh, enrichment. They have the two cardboard boxes. They have the. Um, oh, wrong button. The uh, fire hose thingy there. They have the block of ice. They have the sprinkler. Uh, the scratching pole. The uh, prey scented sack. And the one variation of the rubber pad. And food enrichment. They have the rotating hanging feeder thingy. The zebra. Only the zebra. And the frozen blood pumpkin. Um, where are you? Yeah. Now we can take a look at the animation while we are here. I do feel like they don't climb just to climb. They climb and then just lay there a lot of the time. Um, I'm not sure where... Uh, she, he is going, it's a he, yeah, it's the he. Funny place to choose to lay, but you can see here the climbing animation is a bit funky, but that's the game, it's not the mod. Um, but we're gonna sh stop the time here, this is also... If you step down there, you're gonna fall. First thing I notice is the eyes, which are fairly well done they are very beautiful the only thing i just 
think, and this is just a thought, if they should have more like cat eyes with the narrow pupil, but I'm not sure. So I can't really, uh, I'm, I haven't seen any uh, leopard pupils up close in real life, so I can't really testament to it, but, but I feel like it should be. You have a little fluffiness issue around here, it looks a bit weird. Again, that's the game, it's not the mud, but overall it looks fairly well done. Oh, look at those claws. They actually look sharp, that's very well. I know a lot of mothers make claws, but it's not the same level, all of them. It is hurt though. Um, and it has this fish big bushy tail which we saw in the picture it should have so overall it is well done let's see can we found the little kitten the little kitty kitty oh we have two of them let's take a look at the female can you move out in the sun please she's 0 0.4 years Oh, but I don't think she have gradual aging because the mud is again kind of old and I do feel like that's a newer thing that cracked but maybe I'm wrong the mouth seems good the eyes here are very dark but I do feel like I can see there are pupils in there so they are not completely dark and some animals are actually born with darker eyes uh, kind of like a lot of humans are born with blue eyes and then some of them change their eye color during the first couple of months. Uh, some animals are just born with dark eyes. But overall it is very well. Again we have the little fluff issue but getting up close here the texture is very... Mm. <laughs> very good here and the spots also appear to be on the fur and not just painted on a flat surface they are a little rough you can see the light strands go into the dark some places and the dark strands go out in the latter places and I really appreciate that that is a detail some mothers might forget so uh, let's see her move Aww. And she already got that big bushy tail. Such a beauty. But uh, guys, that's actually all I got for you today. I'm gonna, of course, upload a month more or two later. Uh, I do believe you have five months going up today and tomorrow. So you have something to watch if you are uh, <laughs> don't, didn't have anything else to do. Um, as always, I know I put out a lot of videos, but it's because I want to make this kind of video library of all these mods to help people choose which mod to use. Um, and I can see both the newer and the older videos are actually getting kind of the same attention. Um, so that's just great. And uh, you know the drill, guys. Like, subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you know the next time I upload a video. I really hope to see you again, either in the comments below or in the next video. Bye guys!